Hello and welcome. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another tutorial. Today I have an on-stage memory scrapbook page to share with you. I brought home some of the table decorations that were made from paper at the OnStage 2017 in Salt Lake City. I'm trimming up a few of these little pieces to cut them out and use them in my design. All of the colors are from Stampin' Up! so I know that my card stock is going to match. It looks to me like they have used some artwork from an upcoming stamp and die set and I do happen to have the dies that match that design. So I thought it would be really interesting to carry that design through and make a scrapbook page for the first time that I went to Salt Lake City. I'm using my Big Shot to cut out a few pieces with my dies. Here is one of the layering ovals dies and the largest oval fits just right to cut out this little area. Now this is a heavier piece of paper. It's a little heavier than cardstock, but my dies worked well. Petal Palette Stamp Set is stunning and it's going to be a really big seller. The petals and more thin lit dies match perfectly and everything works very well with the pieces of the table decoration that I'm bringing home. I tech actually stacked them in my suitcase in my checked bag to bring home because the pieces were large and I didn't want to get them all broken and they traveled very well in my suitcase. I'm using the dies that are looking like a, I guess the, the bush part of a rose bush. And I've taken a picture of myself. I know I don't normally do many scrapbook pages with myself, so this is a little bit of a change for me. But I'm using some Perfect Plum cardstock on a picture that I printed out on my regular printer. I'm using some Terran Tape adhesive because it is a very strong and very sticky adhesive to hold the thick cardstock down to a 12 by 12 Whisper White cardstock page. I've went ahead and put all of the tape onto the back of all of the pieces that I'll be adhering. Deciding how to lay these components out was probably the most difficult part. It wasn't terribly difficult, but I would say that there were just way too many possibilities for me to be able to create a design. So I decided to keep lots of white space and make it relatively simple. There's not any stamping directly onto the page base this time. Instead, I thought it would be interesting to add a little bit of different components. Because I used the leftover paper scraps to do the die cutting, the ombre look of this custom paper that Stampin' Up! has created for their event works perfectly and it's a perfect match. I often make die cuts out of paper such as this in order to use in projects because I want it to match. Glitter enamel dots in the same tones of blue are nice to draw a little bit of sparkle around the page. I'm going to do a little stamping onto a scrap strip of paper with Labeler Alphabet Stamp Set. I'm recording the year as 2017 and SLC, which would stand for Salt Lake City. Marina Mist is a nice match to the blue tones that are already on the project. I really like the color palette that Stampin' Up! chose for their event. It's very pleasing and it's something that's a fresh color combo. These little strips are going to be adhered down to my page with a little bit of snail adhesive. And then my project is finished. I'm happy to have been able to share this with you as this was a wonderful experience for me. 
Thank you so much for choosing me as your online Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm happy to help you bring your craft supplies directly to your door. The stamp set I've used today is available now in my online store, and the die set will be available to demonstrators or those on my team in December as a pre-order and to the public in January in the Occasions catalog. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!